Let's break down the first major update in MW3 for 2024. We have a new zombies event with free rewards, some content in the game right now, and much more. We'll go through all of the info in today's video. I want to thank you guys. We're super close to 114,000 subs as well. Thanks for joining the channel. And also shout out to you 4GM if you need help getting MW3 Mastery camos, rare unlocks, zombie schematics, and much more. They have a special Christmas and New Year discount, 15% off with my code Matt. Links are down below. But first up here, we have a new bundle in the store that will play a major role in the upcoming zombies event the horseman war ultra skin tracer pack it comes with an operator skin for swagger called war horse we have a finishing move mag out it's 2400 cop points they're a pretty standard price at this point uh let's look at the operator here looks pretty cool of course it's an ultra skin so it has that really cool glowing effect this is of course the final form though it's not gonna start off like this but pretty solid skin overall definitely like the red look there not bad we have a bass b battle rifle weapon blueprint which looks really cool let's preview the blueprint first here slightly animated nothing too crazy but the red look is pretty solid and i definitely like the bass b overall so a solid weapon blueprint there we have blood fire tracers and a blood fire dismemberment uh death effect there which we'll preview see how it looks okay pretty okay yeah the death effect is pretty sick actually a lot of red going on there let's go through this one more time speed this up here okay all right pretty cool you can see a little more of the animation of the weapon in this preview as well solid stuff we have an emblem here a calling card weapon charm a large decal and a loading screen so not the craziest bundle but still is respectable like the vibes overall so let me know down below if you'll be getting this one here again i'm gonna mention this in so many videos i wish this bundle like all other bundles costed 50 percent less this would be an instant cop if it was 10 bucks but 20 plus dollars for some of these bundles a little crazy so let me know down below if you want to see i mean i think everyone would want to see lower bundle prices but i don't think activision realizes they would probably sell more bundles if the price was a bit less let me know down below if i'm wrong on that but the reason why this bundle is so important is because it's going to play a big role into the first major event for 2024 it's going to be that vortex zombies event which i find so cool which may tie into a bunch of other future updates as well which we'll talk about later on in the video the event begins on wednesday january 3rd in just a couple of days if you guys don't know what it's all about in this free-for-all mode one player spawns in with the infamous zombies wonder weapon the one-shot ray gun whoever eliminates the operator with the ray gun becomes the new owner of this powerful and otherworldly pistol vortex takes place on three remixed mp maps satan's quarry spore yard and tetanus and we have some early previews of these maps up on screen which you guys may have seen before but if you haven't already we have satan's quarry first off super cool vibe the skybox is different the map is different overall i mean they really made some cool changes here to these mp maps to make it feel like an actual zombies experience so so cool we have tetanus as well the rust remake there also pretty sick not much of a zombies feel in my opinion but it still has a cool look to it and this one here spore yard super cool a mixture of dark ether and extinction just a, a very interesting vibe here skybox is sick all the colors here are really cool love the vibes there of these three maps here of course these will be in a multiplayer but will only be available for two weeks and what i've been saying in different videos is that we should have these three maps somehow brought into mw3 zombies as a permanent addition now what would make the most sense here we talked about in my video yesterday round based zombies zombies being added to mw3 zombies this is something that treyarch told youtubers that got flown out early to play this game that we're going to satisfy round based fans in some type of way to me that sounds like we're not going to get full-on uniquely made a huge round base experiences but instead we'll have a you know sort of side mode that satisfies round based players but isn't a full-on map what would make the most sense here is to have these three zombified mp maps brought into zombies as mini round based experiences which obviously wouldn't be the craziest thing ever but would still be pretty solid and it, since these maps are only gonna be available in a multiplayer for two weeks and they're removed forever might as well make some use out of the content they developed and put them into zombies have some different maps to play on uh, just to mix things up there i know most people still are massively enjoying the main zombies mode and i am as well but having these three really cool maps as mini round base experiences would be an added touch and just a little more content to you know satisfy zombie fans in the game
game. So let me know down below your opinions on that. That would be super cool. And maybe next week they just surprise add these maps to zombies as well. They haven't confirmed it just yet, but who knows what they end up doing. We'll see very soon. I'll be sure to update you guys on that. But going back to the Vortex event in multiplayer, this is going to be an XP progression event. So just like the Makarov event and other events we saw earlier in this game, all you have to do is grind through the game. You could play Warzone, multiplayer, or zombies. As long as you're getting XP, you're going to progress through the event, get the free rewards. It's going to be basic cosmetics, calling cards, and stuff like that. And then that final reward is this Magma Camo, which is going to be slightly animated. Looks solid. Nothing too crazy crazy though but it is cool to get another universal camo for a progression event in this game and of course the horseman war ultra skin is going to be important here because again just like the makarov event where if you had that makarov operator you got more xp towards that event it's the same thing here if you have this horseman war ultra skin equipped while you're playing any mode you'll get more xp towards this event to progress it faster so again it's a little boost there for players who have the bundle i don't think it's a big deal overall because the xp progressions event aren't too difficult as long as you're playing a decent amount you should be able to get the event done pretty quickly but i guess it does help for players that don't have enough time and they want to get that boost there it is what it is i guess not really a big deal there but let me know down below your opinions on the vortex mode the event coming soon do you want to see these maps in zombies as round based maps or maybe just a part of the you know mw3 zombies experience maybe these maps could be new areas to tell port 2 for new missions or easter eggs that could be cool as well let me know down below your ideas on that in the comment section but i want to go through some stuff on the holiday event we just got from mw3 and warzone let me know down below your opinions on the event as a whole i thought it was pretty good the mp maps the different game modes the warzone update not really anything for zombies but you know in its entirety it was a good event overall i would say but for cod mobile and especially warzone mobile i mean that game just got a snowy version of Verdansk, which looks insane. The whole map was completely overhauled with snow, decorations, all that good stuff. Of course, Verdansk, if you guys don't know, is the base Battle Royale map in Warzone Mobile, but they got a whole snowy version of it. For Urzikstan, we just got like a weird gray filter, which again, you know, maybe their dev time is better put to different uses for future updates and having a whole snowy Warzone map just for two weeks and then having it being removed. Is that a waste of dev time? Potentially, but it just makes the game look so much better, so much more enjoyable. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously for Warzone Mobile, maybe that's all they're focused on and they didn't have any other major updates, so they just pull all their time into a snowy Verdansk map. But I think the snow adds such a cool vibe to the map, man. So hopefully we see that for the future in the premium Call of Duty titles. I don't think we've ever seen a fully snowed over version of a Warzone map or an entire map like this here. The high rise map we just got was cool, but you know, we could have had more snow, honestly. Like, I don't know. I like the way the snow looks in video games. And when GTA gets a snowy update every year, right? That always looks so cool. So to see that in Call of Duty in the future would be sick. Let me know down below your opinions on that. And for some more stuff happening in MW3 Zombies right now, this thing probably will get patched in the first update for 2024 in a couple days here. It's a crazy running glitch to where, I don't know how you actually do this here. You look down and you crouch as you're running and then you just start flying up in the sky and you just go full speed ahead. It is so wild. Now, I don't know if you could do this in Warzone as well. Seems like just a zombies thing here, but let me know down below if you've done this yourself, if you've seen other people do it, should they keep this type of feature in the game? It just is so, so interesting there. I mean, it would be a kind of cool Easter egg feature. Obviously the Scorcher helps you get around the map super quickly, but this is insanely fast there so let me down below your opinions on this glitch here and also i saw this which i found pretty interesting a laura croft finishing move that you could do on ai soldiers in zombies which i didn't even know you could do finishing moves on the soldiers honestly but i guess you can and if you do it with laura croft while you hold a ray gun you'll actually pull out a dual wielded ray gun which looks insane so first off imagine if we could actually get dual wielded ray guns in mw3 zombies i mean that would be wild i know the ray gun isn't like the best one weapon or gun in the mode but being able to hold two maybe if they you know buff the gun a little bit that would be an insanely cool reward there obviously will they actually do that in the game probably not but the idea of it sounds sick and maybe for a future easter egg they'll actually add it to the game so let me down below your opinions on that as well but overall that's it for this video we'll be breaking down all the updates as they go live for 2024 on the channel for mw3 for especially trex next cod as well super hype for zombies there can't wait for all that so be sure to stay tuned for that content subscribe for more shout out to youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys